Now to an announcement uh, that came as a big surprise from Republican Congressman Jim Sensenbrenner. He is retiring. Sensenbrenner says he will not seek re-election after his term ends. He will leave office as the longest serving member of Congress in Wisconsin history. The 76 year old began his career in 1968, spending a decade in the state legislature. He entered the U.S. House in 1979 when Jimmy Carter was the president. Sensenbrenner's district has evolved over the decades. Today he represents Wisconsin's 5th district. It covers portions of Milwaukee, Waukesha, Dodge, Walworth, and all of Jefferson and Washington counties. Our Tom Durian talked to his colleagues and constituents tonight. Tom. Yeah, Carol, Steve, Jim Sensenbrenner is an old school politician. The second longest serving member of the House, front and center for pivotal moments in this country's recent history. Bad news for us. I mean, he's been a, uh, you know, a good representative. Uh, of the falls. In Jim Sensenbrenner's 5th District, we came across Mike and Don talking about the congressman's service. So we're going to miss him. He, he's a fine person. He's a, he's a good man. Always front and center in their community. I used to see him in a parade walking with his tennis shoes every year. After 40 years in Congress, Sensenbrenner made the announcement that the time is right to retire. He said, quote, when I began my public service in 1968, I said I would know when it was time to step back. After careful consideration, I have determined at the completion of this term, my 21st term in Congress, it will be that time, end quote. A stalwart on the powerful Judiciary Committee, Sensenbrenner was instrumental in the House's impeachment of President Clinton in 1998 and later as the author of the Patriot Act following 9-11. He was a leader uh, right after 9-11 in protecting our freedoms and defending our country. It's kind of a shock to have a day uh, where Sensenbrenner is not going to be in Congress. He, he, Sensenbrenner has been in Congress my entire life. First-term Congressman Brian Stiles says Sensenbrenner was a listener. From the first part of the meeting... Holding 100 town hall events a year, he was also able to get things done. Since 1979, he's voted 23,882 times, sponsored or co-sponsored some 4,299 pieces of legislation, 768 of which passed the House, 217 that were signed into law by six different presidents. Well, Sensenbrenner was diagnosed and treated for prostate cancer in 2009. He says he will have more to say over the next year before he retires. In fact, he's going to speak tomorrow with our Charles Benson. And interestingly enough here, guys, uh, Sensenbrenner reportedly worth more than $10 million in yeah. heir to the Kimberly-Clark fortune. Well, uh, despite that, he liked to play, you know, test his luck and play the lottery. He won $250,000 in 1998. So uh, big winner there. I remember reading about that. Yeah. That was pretty impressive. Okay, thank you very much, Tom.